Okay, so hello and welcome. Um, my name is Wolfgang Engel. I'm working for SUSE uh, since uh, 18 years now. Um, currently, I'm working on SUSE Package Hub, so that's the topic I present you today. Um, so Package Hub is mainly um, about how to bring uh, open source packages um, in the open SUSE build servers to the SUSE Linux Enterprise customers. So when I talk about package hub, it's all about packages. So usually if you are using OpenSUSE Leap or Tumbleweed, you can choose every package which is, which is available in, in open build service and install it um, on your distribution. This is a little bit different if you're using um, SUSE Linux Enterprise Server because usually you want to also have support and so on. So you basically are bound to the packages the um, vendor is shipping. In this uh, example, it's SUSE. So this is basically the situation that um, there's the open source universe with a lot of, lot of, lot of packages. And there is the, the enterprise universe where you have only at least a limited amount of packages available installing on your server. And if you want to install additional packages, you can of course use the build servers um, and search for packages that are building for the SUSE Linux Enterprise Server, but you run into several issues or challenges. One challenge is you can't really identify if this package is not um, in a way harming your system or is not breaking supportability um, from SUSE. And actually you can't be sure that the package actually is working because you find so many projects in the open build service that probably builds the same package. So there was an idea to create a project where basically many packages are hosted that can be additionally installed on the SUSE Linux Enterprise Server. And of course, in an easy way. So one idea was to integrate this project also into the delivery channel, how we, or how SUSE is uh, delivering enterprise products to the customer, because everything has basically go through the, um, so the customer center. So it would be a good option to also have something available um, for the customers <clears throat> that they can just click to activate package hub, for example, and then they have um, all the additional packages available. So this graph shows Roughly, the numbers are not 100% correct, but to just to give you an idea how, um, how unbalanced the number of packages between several distributions are. So we have the SLEE-based systems, which is the blue one, which is kind of like 2,500 packages. When I talk about packages, these are the source packages. And then we have the LEAP-based systems, even more packages, and of course, Factory has the most amount of packages available. So what we are trying to achieve is basically closing this gap to bring more packages to the enterprise customers and basically the users. Well, the current situation or state is that we have around, I think, 900 and something packages available in Package Hub. So we are getting um, to our goal, but in just slow and tiny steps. So it all began as an idea setting up the project, and the project needs to be hosted somewhere. So the idea was to use basically the open build service. So I guess all of you already know the open build service, right? So please raise your hand if you do. The second hand as well, if you do really. 
Yeah, okay, yeah, you really do, okay. Um, so, the easiest way is, was basically to create uh, <clears throat> a project there, um, because then everyone else is able to basically add packages there. So there's one great uh, advantage for the developers who can just contribute um, to Package Hub, and, uh, and but there's a disadvantage that basically the customers not really dealing with um, the open build service. So usually they get their packages and their software through the SUSE customer center. So. Um, we thought of, okay, let's combine these things, and you have to be, um, you need to know that when I talk about package hub, this is usually the customer view. So in the SUSE customer center, the customer sees package hub and he can click on it and he gets the repository. But from a developer or maintainer perspective, in the open build service, you don't find or you won't find a, a project that is called package hub. In build service, the project is called OpenSUSE, Backports, SLE 12, and then SLE 15, and so on. So just keep that in mind if you're looking in build service for package up project. Um, so with this approach, um, we, we can make sure that is, there's easy delivery to the customer, and um, also the maintainers and developers are able to coordinate and collaborate on, on the project. And what is most important is we can also establish checks to make sure that any package that goes into that project and is then delivered through, uh, through SDC to the customer is either not harming the system and the customers are not losing their supportability. So basically that for example, packages are not conflicting, like on a package name level or on a package file list level. Um, you need to also know that since this is a community project hosted in, in the build service, but also maintained by SUSE, um, SUSE is not um, giving support, basically. So, we are doing this on a best effort base. If a customer has some problems with some packages, and also the customer knows that, but still some customers are using it. For example, um, we have some requests where we put um, KDE Plasma 5 into SLE 12, also um, in SLE 15 in Package Hub. But we wanted to also um, have the, op the, the opportunity for the community that they still be able to maintain um, the project in a way that they can add packages and work on, on the project. And of course, that's why I put there, uh, there a question mark. Um, community support is, is also on a best effort base. So these are the, the main um, features and the most important one is also um, it's, it's not conflicting with any SLES installation and it's also cross architecture. So we have all four architectures available that are available on SLES. So this is x86-64, ARM-64, uh, PPC-64 and of course S390. Not all packages are available for all architectures. For example, KDE Plasma 5 is not available for S390 for certain reasons. Um, but you are free to port it if you have a use case. <laughs> um, and remember to look for the OpenSUSE Backport SLE 12, SLE 15 project if you want to look into the build service, what package are, packages are in there. So that's about basically the current state of the project. Um, we also added container support in, uh, for package up 15 so that you 
can submit your container and then it will be automatically available uh, through the OpenSUSE registry. So if it will be also available through the SUSE registry, this is something we have to discuss. So how does the future um, look like? So um, there will be package hub for SLE 15, so this is something we are currently working on. Also, uh, we want to make sure that there's a migration path from SLE 12 to SLE 15. So if you used package hub in SLE 12 before, you can just migrate to SLE 15. Um, we have to deal with some um, challenges there as well, because some packages from package hub can also be migrate to uh, the Linux enterprise server base system, for example, or to a add-on product, workstation extension. This always can happen. Um, so there, at least for the free add-ons for SLE, we, we want to make sure that they, the packages can be migrated. Then, okay, Docker images I already mentioned. Then one more thing is uh, Ludwig also mentioned that um, it will be, uh, or it's a good idea to have something like a migration path from, from Leap to SLE. And this also involves package hub in a way that basically you want to have all the packages you installed on, on, on Leap also available for SLE because otherwise your migration would fail. So this is uh, something we are also trying to achieve to put much, much packages as we can basically from Leap also into Package Hub that there's an option to, to really migrate from Leap to SLE without like um, at least most of the packages can be migrated. Of course, if the packages have some conflicts, they can't be migrated. So, also, it's quite important um, what you as a community or a maintainer um, like to see in package hub. So um, let me know what you want to see on the future list or if you're missing some features um, so we can um, talk about that. And um, of course, if you have any questions, oh, there's, I guess, uh, already one. You can just ask now. Do you have a microphone over there? Okay, thank you. Okay, any questions? Okay, there's one from Andreas. So far, so far one rule has been that the packages that can be submitted for, um, for Package Hub need to be different from those that are provided already as part of SLES. Right? Um, what the question is, Basically, the rule is it can't be the same package or the uh, package that provides the same files that are already in SLES. So what I would be interested in is having additional GCC packages in um, Package Hub. But obviously, SUSE is providing GCC um, as part of the, the SLES product and as part of the toolchain modules and so on. Um, do you see any path forward that we could go about this and say, you know, like submitting a GCC 7 or in the future GCC 8 package to Package Hub, but simply excluding the packages that, um, like disabling in the build service certain um, sub packages that are already part of SLES? Um, well, what you can do, I mean, it, it, it depends also for, you for what you need GCC. I mean, if it's only for like building packages, that shouldn't be an, an issue because if it's only during build time, we can add the package to a basically sub project. And because then GCC is not delivered, but it's then, it's not released, but it's used for building a package for package up, for example. No, I was referring to like uh, microcontroller Did, development tools like Arduino and other stuff. Okay, so that means that basically the GCC version should be released and delivered to the customer, basically. That needs to be discussed, how we, how we can do that. So that's a good point, so we need to, need to talk afterwards. Okay, there's another question. Uh, I understood how packages get in Package Hub, but uh, sometimes uh, packages change in Leap 
in, in their structure, in the kind they are built, is, and, uh, is there any condition where they can get out of package up, where you lose them in package up? Or is it something we can rely on if they exist there, that they are there to stay, at least for some time frame? Yeah, that that, def <laughs> that depends on the time frame. I mean, sure. I mean, the package will be staying in package hub unless there is a reason uh, pulling this package. I mean, we had in the past, I think, t twice or three times maximum the case where we had to pull the package. Because also what is very important is to understand if there's, for example, a security problem with a package and no one is basically caring about that package, so the maintainer does not care, or there, if there is no maintainer anymore for that package, and it's too risky to deliver this package in package up to customers or users, then this would be also a reason to pull the package. But beside from that, um, there are not many reasons. I mean, another reason can be, and that happened basically, um, on the switch from SLE 12 to SLE 15, that some packages in SLE 12 package hub um, 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 were moved basically to, for example, the um, workstation extension for SLE 15. So the package was moved to a product. So this also can happen. It can, but also happen um, the other way around that a package from SLE goes into package hub. So it's bi-directional. Did I understand correctly that if a package has been submitted to Package Hub for a previous version of the Sleep products, then you will take care and try whether it will also build against the new product or will that require a new submission from the community? Well, what we are doing is basically taking all the packages and, for example, for which build in package up Sleep 12 and then moving them to Sleep 15, package up 15, and see um, if everything builds. But what we are also doing is like um, syncing. This is something we did with uh, the the KDE Plasma 5 stuff, suing these packages from Leap so that we are basically on the same level. Are you using uh, stagings for um, checking any submissions from the community? Well, we are using the maintenance process. So that means e every submission has first go through, usually, that's, that's a policy. Every package has to be accepted in factory first. So that's the typical factory first policy. And, um, I was more referring to like, um, is there a chance that if someone submits um, a package update into Package Hub that some other package might start to break? Um, we had that That's in the what, past. You know, yeah. for factory, the staging yeah. repositories. Are we currently, I, yeah, we, we currently don't have any staging repository. So, but this is something we, we can also set up because we had this in the past that one package update broke other packages. Any other questions? <laughs> a suggestion. Um, a story from the from from practice. I've seen that the package hub is available in our subscription, and I have a running a local SMT for mirroring all the SUSE repositories into our infrastructure. And I mean, nobody who has a reasonable sized less installation will ever add package hub via the Yast module or something like that. And so you enable mirroring, and then you try to add this package up repository. And you see, have you ever looked at the URL, at the, at the file name, at the directory name? Okay, you know what I'm getting at. I mean, I was not confident adding something uh, in a subdirectory named slash 12 backports sp0 to my sp3 system. So um, if the package up, I mean, the, the slash repository layout slash 12 repository layout is quite crazy, but it's established since three service packs right now. And if the package hub could somehow f blend in there so that it's maybe not delivered under product, updates, package hub 12 SP3, then I would know, okay, that's the package hub repository for 12 SP3. Right now, I really was not confident adding this to, to my slash 12 servers, and so I just put the package into my own build service, and there are no. So, but 
that's a usability issue, in my opinion. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, then everything is fine. So I mean, this is this to is improve in the future, probably. Yeah, this is this is unfortunately, I mean, not unfortunately, but this this is uh, of historical reasons that. Um, how we decided to set it up for SLE 12. I mean, we set it currently up the same way for SLE 15, but we are currently or also in the process of, okay, maybe rethinking that um, in, in some extent, because it might be also um, come in place when we are talking about the migrations from the leap systems, so that we basically have the same or align more to uh, the repo uh, setup um, how it is in Leap, for example. Any other questions? Okay, then, thank you very much. Um, you can get more information on packagehub.suze.com. Thank you.